So here it is, you guys. This comment, I get so many of these. And it's always about me asking for money or taking or taking a day off or two days off. What they don't uh, tend to recognize is that I make videos seven days a week. And it's a lot of work. So yeah, this is just one example of the kind of comments that I get. And I don't know where these people have come from. I don't know if they've come from other homesteading channels. Um, all I know is once I started getting an increase in subscribers, I started getting an increase in these kinds of comments. And, you know, most of the time I kind of laugh at them and whatnot, but it's really getting, it's beginning to get to me, honestly. Uh, I mean, this, this, this is an example of why some YouTubers might reconsider sharing their lives on YouTube. Because you get the dredges of society. I don't know if this person posts elsewhere or if they just uh, use this account just to you know, come here and make this comment. The wording sounds very familiar, uh, linguistically. I feel like I recognize who this person is, um, uh, because a lot of times they will, like I've told you before, they will make accounts and they'll get banned. So they'll make another account or they'll pull one out of their pocket that they created a year or two ago and go back and just keep hammering away at people until they they break them basically so yeah uh, I kinda kinda recognize the way that this person structures their sentences their verbiage and whatnot so unfortunately I have a feeling that this person has been on this channel for a while under a different account name but you just got to deal with it. So I've got to decide whether or not I'm going to keep going, sharing my life with all of you. Because I know that my grandchildren watch these videos and uh, that's a huge reason why I make these videos. is because I wanted my grandchildren to know what their, their Granny Anne is up to. Um, but I've invited the rest of the world to come and view my videos as well. And this is what I get for it. You know, I don't know why people think I'm making tons of money off of YouTube, but I'm not. And this person is criticizing me for taking off. Well, I think if you look back through my videos, you'll see that I put out content seven days a week. And that's an awful lot of work. In fact, I've been focusing more on making YouTube videos than I have actually working on this homestead so this has got to change. I have brought people along with me on many of the things that I'm doing or not doing just things that I talk about and so taking off again really yeah yeah I'm taking off and for what do you Mr. or Ms. <laughs> Miss Mrs. X Mrs. Um, do you never take a day off? Hmm? You work seven days a week, every day, 365? Is that what you do? You get a paycheck? Why are you taking a paycheck? Huh? Should you get a paycheck for the things that you do? Or are you one of those people that, you know, sits around living off the government dole day to day? Are you one of those people? Should you be criticized for doing that? Do you have an explanation for yourself? I want you to give me an explanation why you're living off the government doll. So, yeah, this is a, just a very small snippet of what I get comment-wise on this channel. I get rid of them as quickly as I can, but, you know, they keep coming. And they're sneaky about it. Sometimes they'll post them on old videos. But uh, this one, <laughs> yeah, at least they posted on my most recent video so that their comment wouldn't be buried months back where they know that other people wouldn't see it. This person wanted to be seen. 
This person wanted to be seen by other people hurting me. And I want you to pay attention to the sentence where she, where she says, <laughs> just felt like I should let you know you need to stop using people. It is pitiful and wrong, period. Now, that is a key sentence. So this person thinks that I'm using people. So why did they choose to add that to this conversation? I'm going to tell you why. It's because this person, more than likely, using a different account, probably either donated to my channel or sent gifts or something like that. And perhaps I'm not giving them the kind of attention that they want. Or maybe I'm not posting the kind of videos they think I should be making. Or maybe I haven't taken their advice. Think about it. There are some really sick, twisted people on the internet. And sometimes you got to think, what is the price? What is the price of interacting with these individuals? Now I want to focus on the sentence, we have literally kids that go to bed hungry every night. They need our help, not abled mid-age takers. Okay, now that was very revealing right there. All right, so that sentence reveals the person's political ideology. Democrats and liberals like to throw the hungry children thing out there. Nancy Pelosi has done it so many times in recent past, uh, you can't count it. And a lot of times these individuals are not working individuals themselves. Uh, the last one, not abled middle-age takers. So this person more than likely views themselves as not an abled individual and unable to work. So they're looking at me having this channel, um, having a certain amount of success, and they don't like it. They're jealous. They're sitting at home with a disability, getting a check, from the government every month, not having to worry about things because they will always have money coming in. And then they see me getting things for which they think I didn't work for. So it's my guess that this individual who seems very familiar to me, votes Democrat, is liberal, is disabled, is on disability, and has sent me gifts. And now that they, now they don't like the fact that I'm taking time off. They don't like the fact that people have been very benevolent to me. And they don't receive that same kind of benevolence in return. So you kind of got to think about what is the price? You know, what is the price of doing all of this? What's the price of accepting a gift? You got to think about that too. Is there going to be a price? Normally, I'm a pretty good judge of character. I know what's in people's hearts. I know that they generally want to give out of the goodness of their hearts. And that is the bulk of people on this channel. 99.9999% of the people that come to this channel who have been kind to me and who have reached out to me in one way or another are generally good people. But every once in a while, you will run into one person who will shower you with gifts, or maybe not even gifts, maybe shower you with compliments, you know? And if you don't respond back to them the way that they want you to, in their mind, it is a personal injury to their ego. And this is a sociopathic tendency. This whole comment reeks of sociopathy. 
So who? Who would think that this is appropriate or acceptable? I don't know. I think that someone who would come on to somebody's channel and post something like this has serious mental issues. Sociopathy. It's everywhere on the internet, unfortunately. And I've received so many comments. Oh, like I was saying before, people have insulted me for the way that I look. One person said that I need to wear makeup. I look terrible. I need to wear makeup. I've had people make fun of physical features about myself that I can't change. Now, I've deleted these comments, but they just keep coming. One thing that I can tell you for sure is my channel appeals to a lot of people who are disabled and who are truly, genuinely unable to work. They get to see me going out and doing things that they might like to do, but they can't do themselves. So they can kind of live vicariously through channels like mine. And they want to help and support people in a true, selfless, genuine way. But there are a lot of people out there who, well, they just want to take advantage of others. And I know that seems kind of twisted. Well, that's the way the mind of a sociopath works. They are twisted. They will, like I said before, shower you with compliments or gifts or support or whatever. But just so long as you are agreeing with them and bolstering their ego. So when I use the example of a disabled person who gets a monthly disability check, I'm not speaking about all of you wonderful, kind people who, through no fault of your own, well, you know what? You just need a helping hand. Because you can't get out and do things. So when I use that example, it's not referring to you guys. I know what's in your heart. But, like I said, this comment is pointedly familiar. And so, needless to say, I think I'll be more careful going forward with everything, basically. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should let these kinds of comments remain so that you can all see them and respond accordingly. But I really didn't want this channel to go in that direction. But I think I needed to let you guys know that it is really hard to put yourself out there like I do. Because so many people will try to rip you to sh shreds no matter if your heart has nothing in it but love. They will try to bring you down and insult you and injure you in any way they can. So although 99.999% of people who come to this channel are genuinely kind, giving, wonderful people, there's always got to be that one, that one sociopath in a group that you just got to shake off. And believe me, I will shake you off. So going forward, I'm probably going to talk about things like this. Sociopathy and depression and anxiety and health and wellness and healing. I'm still going to do the homestead projects because, let's face it, I got to get some work done on this homestead, that's for sure. But I'm going to start talking about other things too. Possibly even politics. Who knows? But all I know is that I can't let one individual bother me in the way that they have. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video.